Right, welcome back to the All Seasons channel. Today, we're going to be working on this uh, carefree manual awning. The um, gentleman has a, apparently he's got a broken spring. Uh, don't know which end yet. I'm going to go ahead and just take this end apart. And because uh, this is the easiest end, um, this is the back end. The, the front end's got your latch and all that. And this one's just easier to deal with. I'm going to take it loose, see if. Uh, has any spring tension in it at all, and uh, if it does, we'll assume the front one's broke. We'll go up there, but we're gonna start right here. So, uh, hey, right now would be a really good time to go down there and give me a like, leave me a comment, leave leave Cameron a comment. Cameron, probably love to hear from you folks. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, thanks. All righty. First thing we're gonna do is get our vice grips on here. So when I take these screws out, it don't fly away, because any time you have stored energy, whether it's, whether it's a battery storing power or a spring storing energy, you've, uh, You've got a potential to have a problem. So just always be careful anytime you're dealing with stored energy. Why have Cameron come over and just hang on that? I'm gonna pull this off and see how much tension it has. Not very much. I'm gonna count how many how many wines is in this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, when you're working with a, a manual awning and it's out, eleven wines is not going to be enough. I believe we are going to shoot for about seventeen or eighteen. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and you really just step back just a little bit in case I'd let go of these because you're just in the you're in a bad spot. That's so eleven. So there's twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, and we're gonna quit at 17. And yeah, that's a that's quite a bit of tension on that spring. Now if the awning were rolled up, I think probably uh, nine or ten wines probably if the if the awning were rolled up, but it's just much easier to work on it down here. I'm gonna need you to hold in while I get right there. All right. So there's 17 wines in this end. Maybe we don't have any broken springs at all. Maybe, uh, maybe we're just gonna need to wind the other end as well. So. Are there? What makes them come unwind? They just get weak. Uh, the customer just asked, you know, what would cause this, and. You know, um, springs gets to get uh, get weak over time. Um, so you know, maybe that's what it is. Uh, maybe somebody's had it apart at some point and didn't get it wound enough. I mean, it's really hard to say. But anyhow, I think uh, as long as the spring's not broke on the other end, we might just wind it a little extra, and things might work better. All right, so we got 17 winds in that end. I'm gonna release the latch on this end and see if it tries to roll up at all yet it tries we're gonna 
just go ahead and take go ahead and take this end loose and uh, put some probably some extra wines in it just like we did on that other end and we'd probably be good to go This end here has like no tension on it, so uh, we're gonna start winding it some and uh, see if this, this spring may be broke down here. Yep, this, this spring is broke, so Cameron's gonna continue to hold that because he's big and strong. And we'll have to, I brought a, I brought an, a used head with me. So, I have to switch it out. You gonna be all right? Yeah. It ain't that heavy. No, it's just one to turn. Oh, I can fix that. I didn't realize while Cameron was trying to hold that end, it was trying to rotate because we didn't have this upper rafter out. So if you don't want it to rotate, Put your upper rafter out, snug your adjust knob up there, and then the, the tube no longer wants to rotate. Because this end's wound up nice and tight now. So I got the two screws out of this so, uh, so it'll slip right out. I want to keep the orientation the same as far as how the, the cap goes in. So I'm gonna just put a little mark on that tube. Pull this old head out. Yeah, the spring's completely gone. I'm gonna have to get something fished around up there, maybe grab a hold of that spring. Probably. I might have to get a light so I can see it. I got a light right here. Yeah, it's plumb up there in the middle. I know, it's way out there in the middle. I'll never be able to grab hold of it. Right. Yeah, I think it'd be all right. We'll need that. Good or we'll, bad? We'll need that here, man. It's just, it's just broke. Oh, it's broken? Yeah. All right, so the broken spring is way up there in the middle. I'm not going to bother with it. It's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, and uh, slide the new, the new used head. Like I say, just want to get this cap oriented the same as the old one was. Put our two screws, since it's carefree, it's just got screws. Of course, for a domatic, it would be, uh, it would be, uh, oh, that's the wrong screw. It would have uh, rivets in it. Carefree. I always use screws, which made sense to me. They would do that. Thank you, sir. We got a good spring in there. Should be able to wind this bad boy up. Good thing about this end, it has the lock. So when you get it wound up, you can actually take your uh, pliers off. There's one. 
I'm not gonna count again. Y'all, y'all can count. That was 17. Yeah, let's just change it. All right, I actually got the orientation wrong on this one. Let me go grab another a marker. All right, so I actually got this head on oriented 180 degrees off. So I'm actually gonna let the, let the tension off, take those two screws out and rotate it around the, the right way. Thought I was getting it right, but I had it wrong. Sometimes that happens. No big deal. Rotate it. Rotate that head around 180 degrees. Drop the screw. Put one screw in. Hung up my mic wire. It's one of them days. Everybody has them. Get the screw up dropped. I that's about a week of them. <laughs> Only a week I've had. I've had 59 years. <laughs> All right, now. You know what, this is just a different model head. Cause that didn't change the orientation of our lock. So what that means, if it's okay with you, instead of using this remote thing, you're just gonna have to use your wand to, to move this with. We just like uh, Dometic. The Dometic didn't do the, yeah. the lights thing on works. arm. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, it will. Okay. So I'll pull that down? Yep. That little lever? Yep, because it's gonna be it's gonna be right there when the awning's rolled up. And which way did you go? Well, it's open or close. So That's open. Op open will roll out and close will be go in. So. Okay. Yeah, that's marked right. It's just the lock, this is a different style head. Okay. It's not the one that's designed for the for the remote lock. This is a man this is a complete manual one. Alright, All right, so let's Put her pliers on here and wind her up again. Hope it fits the arm. Yeah, it will. Well, that's a carefree head, but it uh, it just uh, it's going to need a little bit of modification to fit uh, fit his arm. All right, I'm just going to take my old trusty dusty. Dremel tool and cut. I know you can't see it, but there's a little notch here that I need to trim up just a little bit.
I have never wore out two of them little Dremel grinding discs in a row without exploding them first. I never wore them out. They always explode before they, before they wear out. <laughs> uh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Where'd I put that screw? Oh, well, why are you letting me look? You got your hand. You didn't know what I was looking for. <laughs> Helper, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's see if we've accomplished anything here today. Oh, got to put that upper rafter. All right. I'm going to go through the operation of the of a manual on him. Uh, you're all rolled up. Yeah, you, you just got to your campground. You're gonna be just like this. First thing you want to do. Oh, you're fine. First thing you want to do is uh, come and flip your travel latches up. One on this end. Make sure your knob on your upper rafter is loose. That should be snugged up when you're driving. Come front. Make sure your knob's loose. Flip your travel latch up, reach up there. This lever says roll up and roll down. Or, Does that gotta go up there? Yeah. Huh? You don't have to go up like normal? No, th we've done, okay, we've done away with it. Okay, Yeah. Okay. Then you just take your magic wand, as I call them. Come well, over. Up there, I'm sorry. Just uh, moved it uh, Did from. Did you move that lever? Yeah. Because this is, that's roll up and this is roll down. Oh, okay. I didn't see you do that. That's okay. Then you just come over here and use your magic wand to grab your pull strap. Pull it down. All the way. Then you come over here, you slide your, your upper rafter up. Right there, snug your knob. Go to the other end, do the same thing. Snug your knob up, and then you can raise your awning up. However high you want to. You're ready to spend the you're ready to spend the week at the campground. And then when you get ready to go, just do everything exactly the opposite. First thing you do is let the awning down, both ends, all the way to the stop. Come down here and do the same thing. And let your upper rafters down. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but loosen that knob, slide that upper rafter down, leave the knob loose. Come up the front and do the same thing. Then figure out where you hid your magic wand. You come and you you flip this lever from uh, from open to close is what this one says. Some of them say roll up, roll down. They're all a little bit different. What's up that screw? Did it go in your cricket or something? Or just didn't go in all the way? No. All right, so we've rolled. We're gonna roll this to move this lever to close. Hang on to this thing because it's got spring tension. I like to come out to the center, get a hold of my my strap, and it just goes up. Just don't don't let go of it. Use your magic wand. To finish putting it up. All right. Then you you're getting ready to travel, so you flip your travel lash down, snug your knob up so it don't vibrate out and you lose it on the road. And there you go. You're ready to travel. So there you have it. There is winding your manual awning and replacing a head. Of course that that head replacement did not go very smoothly because 
Um, that was a carefree head. We put it on carefree arms, but apparently two completely different models. So uh, a little bit of change. Um, this particular Fiesta had the had the remote switch to, to roll it open to close. Uh, we have to go back to the manual method now because that head was just a completely different orientation. Uh, of course, we had to make that head fit on the arm. But other than that, I mean that's that's how she works. So uh, really appreciate you watching, and uh, please uh, remember to go down and give this video a like. Uh, give me uh, leave me a comment. Leave leave Cameron a comment. Cameron would like Cameron hasn't had any comments yet. He needs a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.